Mark Yetman if you didn't know. This one says nothing's forever. And this is the time my grandmother passed. The crazy part is my grandmother was a singer also. I mean, I got my singing from her and my pop. You know? So the crazy part is every time I come home from school, I always kiss my grandmother, go to my room, and say I love you. She say I love you back. You know? So the day that she died, I came home. It's like she waited for me when I got home. When I got home, I kissed her, I said I love you. I went in my room, literally two minutes later, my mom busted crying, saying my grandmother just took her last breath. Damn, which is the crazy part. And I'll take that so close to my heart because I feel like she waited for me to come home. I feel like she waited for me just to say I love you so she can just go. And I'm so glad that like she's not in pain no more. And like, you know, that's always been my passion. I promise you I'm gonna make this shit for her, bro. What's up? I promise you, I've been grinding for this shit for too long just to start now, I promise you. So, uh, you gonna get there too. I promise you, bro. You gonna get there. Yeah. Head in mm -hmm. your voice. Word. Yeah, bro, I promise you. Yeah, what the, the, time shit, the time and everything that happens works crazy. Yeah. Y'all, like, you really got to like, when they say trust the process and mm -hmm. race the journey, that's real talk. Like, like anything they, can happen. Like, where you was at this time last year compared to where you at now, you it might feel like you ain't been doing nothing or you in the same spot, but if you really working or put, you gonna, you gonna be in a whole nother um, position. So, you really yeah. just gotta keep going. But, like, um, for real. my girlfriend, her mom been fighting cancer for two years. Crazy, y'all gonna be shocked by this, but she passed like an hour before we linked up to today. Yeah. Oh, my condolences, today? my boy. Yeah, bro. Yeah. So, um, hey, I gotta work. You feel me? Uh, I'm telling you, bro. That's that's. You don't know what example. people going through. You feel me, bro? Anybody <laughs> through, but when you it's do it, crazy, bro. bro. bro you peace. But um, yeah. Okay. See, we did. Wow, wow bro. And in the, just the concept of the song and cemetery. Wow, that's wow, crazy. And I was just at a funeral earlier. And yeah, you did tell me That's that. That's crazy. Uh, I was at my uncle's funeral earlier today. He passed, you know, he's been fighting uh, uh, his liver failing, heart failure. He's been going through a lot of stuff. But, you know, he he, was, he passed away the 15th of April. You know? But I'm glad I was able to go there. You know, I was able to, uh, wow. me and my sister was able to go there and yeah. like, sing. You know, it was very really peaceful. Yeah. You know, it was good to yeah. set him off the right way type shit. Yeah. 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 It was a good experience. Yeah. But, you know, as soon as I went, I left the funeral, got home, got dressed, came to stay here, you know. You know, because that's what he wanted me to do. Like, he I ain't know none he of this either, bro. He wouldn't want me to sit bro. down. Yeah. That's crazy, exactly. dog. He wouldn't want me to sit down. So as soon as I, <sighs> funeral ended at 3. That man called me, he was like, yo, you can meet up at the park at 4. I was like... He like he giving me them like perfect. So he I don't know what he got going on. He's like perfect. That's cool. Bro. I'll be there. I'm, I'm on my way. I'm like, because oh. I promise you, he would, he would want me to do that. Cause my uncle, I promise you, my uncle, my grandmother, my pops, my my brother. I promise you, all of them would want me to do what I love. And I promise you, music is the one thing that I would always do, no matter what. Until I'm on my deathbed, I'm always gonna be able to sing. I'm always gonna do something. Feel me? So. I'm just glad I'm, I'm glad to be here, bro, because it's a good experience, bro. Yeah, yeah. So I can't wait for to see how this turn out, bro. I don't nah, know the show, sure, man. Bro. It's, it's, everything is a, is a building block, you know, exactly. and, and, and a step forward. It might not be a large step, but it's a step forward. That's all it's about moving That's forward. What I'm saying. That's why I say. It's look part out, of the bro. journey, bro. Like, I'm we just keep building video, over bro. it. It's just going to be I so tough. I'm telling you. Yeah, because we, here for the, we in it for the long haul. We're not here for tomorrow. Everybody, this is my first time meeting. Yeah. Yeah, all everybody. Yeah. <laughs> First time you all yeah. here, bro. I feel like I'm gonna make it from us. Yeah, bro. I never thought I'd be. I never, bro. I've never seen this park a day in my life. What? Well, I've never, bro. I thought we were going to the. So, I ain't really had no support like that. So, it, it still, it, it felt good, but it still was like, dang, like, like how I'm gonna make it though, like, you know, and then you know, at, at that point too, graduation's coming up. So, you know, you trying to figure out what's your next move. Like, and, and me, I'm thinking in my mind, I'm like, I'm gonna be this, I'm gonna I'm make it already. So I ain't even thinking about college. I always thought I was gonna make it. Like, I was gonna, like, it just, I thought, I thought, I, that's why I thought, man, as a kid, man, you just, you, you don't really like see things of uh, the process, so to speak, you know, but it's, it's definitely a process with, within everything. But at the moment, you know, you're just thinking, yeah, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get rich, I'm gonna do that. But you know, things nine out of 10, they don't really work out that way, you know? So I had to definitely uh, learn that. I had to definitely learn that, go through, go through the ups, the downs, trials, tribulation, things like that. And, and, I, and I, 
I, I won't really like. I, ain't, I was I was good in school, like as far like when I wanted to, like so I ain't I was not no straight A student until my uh, my 12th grade year. That's when I really kind of locked in. I was playing around. I was playing around, so I had to play catch up, man. Like that's why I always be trying to tell people, yo, start lock in when you get there, so you could kind of chill later on, like. In my 12th grade year, I had to go to like night school and shit like that. But I was making straight A's though. Like only I had an F. I had, I had three. I had four classes. I had a four classes. I had three A's and one F. I had an F in art. I, I, that, that was my that was my, my my hangout class. I used to just do nothing in that class. But yeah, when I wanted to lock in, like I could definitely lock in. You know, I feel like school school was never really like a challenge to me. It was more so just me staying focused. Yeah, like once I once I stay focused, once I focused on uh, on the work and what I had to do, you know, it was easy, but yeah, it wasn't really like, I ain't, I, I ain't really, uh, I ain't know what I wanted. I, I ain't know what I wanted out of school. Like, I ain't know what it was going to do for me because I ain't had like that, no, no aspirations, you know, outside of the music at the, at the time. So, yeah, but it, music, m music is just, it's, it was always, always there. Just, you know, just trying to figure out how to like, actually make it happen, make certain things happen, like actually, uh, you know, get get in studio time, meet, you know, make connections here, you know, just kind of getting the word out and just, you know, figuring that out, which I'm still doing, but I feel like now is a different time too, like with, with uh, social media and things like that. You know, back then social media was, it was there, but this is a whole different monster now, you know, so, so it's, it's more so just, Figuring it out at that at that moment, just like yo, what do I do? I'm do it. So of course, you know, I ended up graduating, but after that, it was like, what's next? You know, I ain't I ain't go to college. You know, still at the house. <laughs> you know, people looking at me crazy. You know, and and in my mind, I'm like, yo, I can't work either, cause I'm I'm gonna be a rapper. You know, like I feel like I'm a, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a rapper, so I I can't nobody can't see me. You know, you, you still you still care what people think. Bright light. I promise you, I will teach you. Like, yeah. I you, bro. When yeah. you get new experiences, bro, you will never think you would ever be where you were. Nah. You will be in five years. 100%. Yeah, because if you think about it, this is a networking event. Exactly. It doesn't even seem like it. But he may like, yo, I need you to take some pictures from him. I'm like, yo, shoot, cool. Hey, I got the showcase. Technically, yeah, technically, I got a showcase coming up. I just told Mark about it. Would you be interested? Man, you know I'm not. Come on. All right, you see, like, <laughs> a networking event. Right? Yeah. Damn, for real? Yeah, yeah is, like, I, 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 uh, I told Mark this as soon as he was coming out, like, yo, I got a neighbor. He has a showcase, music, da 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 da. Are you interested? Mark said, yeah, he just want to see how the vibe is. Didn't know he was going to be here. Yeah, yeah. Extend the reach. You never know. I work. Anytime, bro. So yeah, I, said, I might school. hit up Brandon. Hey, bro, you free? Brando, we... right? Brand the Brando. Oh, right, Brandon. Brand oh, oh okay. I said it oh, right. I said it right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so I might hit him up. I'm like, yo, I need help with this, 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 and that. And third, hey, yo, I got you. You know, just. I mean, we all growing as people, bro. Yeah. Everybody, everybody. At the end of the day, we just. If we could grow together or, you know, in our own just, realm, just that's, that's the, the goal. Yeah, most of just set, setting yourself up Very in a sense. Showing up is half the battle, like they say. So yeah. You can never have too much experience, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 like you said, you just in, you be playing too safe. You just don't want to do nothing. You want to stay on your computer all day, mm -hmm. on your phone. You probably might not grow. Look, the ta my tattoo literally says the future believes in the, the, fu the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dream. Yeah. I promise you, bro. You gotta follow your dreams. You wanna get what you want. Hundred percent. Get what you want in life. You gotta, you gotta work for it. Bro. Yeah, exactly. Like, nobody dog. else. Nobody gonna hand it to you. Embrace that you journey, gotta, though, man. It's, it's not gonna, gonna happen. It's either gonna learn it the hard way, or you gonna fall back to the bottom like five times. Yeah. When you actually realize you gotta work for this shit for yourself. Yeah. Nobody got you like you. Gotta that yeah, shit, you just can't give up midway, or exactly, you know, bro. give up because it's getting hard. You know, really, like bro. really keep going through those hard times because before bro, you know you're going to get nigga, through it. Nigga, a year ago, I was on Instagram Live singing for famous people. That's how I grew my page in a matter of three months. Wait, tell, uh, tell, just tell me about that. What do you mean by singing for famous people? That's how I started. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know yeah go ahead. Here. Go ahead. I saw him. I saw him on Jimmy. It was him, yeah, Jimmy. You know Jimmy. Yeah, that's And cool. I think it was someone else. Mm -hmm. they, it was on Instagram Live. Local I, lover boy. Lo, local, local lover, lover boy. boy. Yeah. Um, I tuned in one time. I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't even know who he was until he just said it. And I'm like, damn. 
Mm-hmm. I did see you. Mm-hmm. And I'm the one that, I'm the one that put Jimmy on that lineup. I forgot. And they was just doing, um, they was doing live, and they uh, they were just at the next person on their live, and they were just going from there, and they were like, yo, let's we just start singing. And it was to the point where y'all sang for, I forgot who she was. She was some famous lady in Atlanta. And he was singing. He was singing. Jimmy was singing. They, everybody liked the song. Oh, can duos? Uh, um, mm-hmm. That's how you let me get. Let me. Bro. Can y'all run it back and sing it again? And I'm like, oh, I tuned in, and I, you know, as a support for friends, but didn't even know where it was going and where it could have led. Connections is different, bro. Cause he even know that was me. That's yeah. the crazy part. Yeah, I'm telling you, I, so bro, I said, world, Jimmy bro. was the one that actually made me create my music page. And in a matter of one year, I went from zero followers to. 10.3k. Yeah, that shit just by Instagram starting. Line, Instagram line. I remember the, who the first, I think Fat Joe was the first person. Fat like, Joe tuned in? Yeah. Bro, I've been on like with Fat Joe, um, Lil Wayne Daughter, um, who was Molly Music, been, a, been on live with uh, a lot of uh, TikTok influencers, Instagram influencers. Yeah. Bro, all the mm-hmm. way from... East Coast all the way to West. Bro, they bro, you, they was messing with uh, some fa- some chick in San Francisco. She didn't yeah, want to give y'all a location. Uh huh. Yeah, bro, I'm telling you, bro. I've been been grinding for this. I've been up six o'clock every That's night. Your story right there. Six o'clock every night, bro. Like, yeah. I promise you, six o'clock. Six six to like four a.m. They could be on live. You don't know what they doing on live. Every day, like I promise you, I be there. There, I make sure I got my water. I got my guitar right next to me, and I just be ready, bro. I be ready yeah. for the moment, because I be ready to seize that moment, bro. I feel so hungry for this for this fame shit, bro. Nah, you like, gonna, I want nah, it, you bro. get there, bro. I promise you nah. I want it, bro. Bro, it was on live from, like, 6 p.m. to, like, 4 a.m., and yeah. I just get a notification. You go, you go to sleep, wake I, up. I get, I get, get a notification. I get a notification on the phone. Oh, watch him calling on live. Uh-huh. Join. I'm I'm like, I got people. I built my family so much. I'm like, bro, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. There's people sending me talent shows back to They on live? Yeah. Just to perform on it, cause they let it hear me sing. I had people cash up me. I was doing talent shows. I was winning. I won five thousand dollars one time off a talent show. I've been doing. Bro, I'm telling you. All back to like when I was probably like two, three years old, something like that. Like maybe, maybe realistic, like three, three, four. Cause like songs like uh, Biggie, Mo Money, Mo Problems. Like I remember when I was in rotation when I was a kid, like hearing that. So I always like been inf- influenced by music like i remember it, like every time that, that that song come on like you waiting for biggie part you know and, and you want to rap along to and things like that so yeah, things like that but as far as like my, my first uh like you know this is my favorite rapper i'd probably say like ludicrous like in the in, you know late 90s early 2000s when ludicrous came out like son i just gravitated to towards them you know like like i'm not gonna say like I took like as far as I like, meet my, my the type of artist I am like I took from him as far as, like his style and things like that because Ludacris is his style is it's unorthodox it's different you know but at the time like, I just felt like you know Luda just the the flows and just the you know the hair everything just kind of was like yo this dude he dope like you know like the videos things like that like so that was, that was my guy you know Ludacris uh, Outkast you know, definitely uh. You definitely remember like hearing like Miss Jackson on the radio, things like that, like, cause, cause the radio, that's that's where uh, it's ways to get most of my music, you know, like it's different now. Now I feel like, I feel like, it's 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 hard to like really love uh, gravitate to music now, cause back then all you had was really like the radio, so they kind of playing the same songs and stuff like that, so you just grow a liking to it, like, so the, the Outkast, uh. Remember your D- DMX, uh, of course Jay Z, Nas, like, like it's this is um, Nas still mad at uh, that that the intro. Like every time I hear it, I just remember the first time like hearing it in the garage. I remember when we brought that album, everything, cause you know we used to we used to buy like CDs all the time. Like we used to buy all the CD like, and and off of that too, you just go off of the, like the, the the hit song. So the whole CD could be bad, but as long as they got a hit song. You know, that's gonna grab your attention. You gonna you gonna grab it. So, man, we had to, was collecting CDs at, at at that point, like, you know, and of course you know, burn the CDs too, but you know, but for for the most part, yeah, like we had all the CDs, you know. So I it's like my I'm it's a wide variety, like I wanna really like locked in in one one uh certain uh 
area or artists or things like that. Like Nelly, Nelly Ja Rule, you know, like that era, like, man, like, I could even think, every time I think about it, it just take me back to that time. Like, you know, once I hear a song, you know, it take you back to a good time. Like you young, you, you know, no, no, no worries, you know what I'm saying? Things like that, like, uh, we, we, we can keep going, uh, like, down south, of course, you know, Trick Daddy, you know, you know, Trick, Trick Daddy's home base, you know, and, uh, you know, of course, uh, t Texas, I, li I like, I like, I, I always, I gravitate towards that Texas um, sound, so, like, like, like UGK, you know, Pimp C, Pimp C, one of the ones, like, I love, I love Pimp C, like especially like his interviews. Like that's one of my favorite pastimes. Watching like Pimp C interviews, and, and my favorite rapper of all time. Like this came like further further along. It's a little bit before my time. Tupac, Tupac. That, that's that's number one. That's number one. People throw this uh people throw the goat thing around way too much. There's only one goat to me. That's Tupac. Like you know like but I, I, I but I, like I said I kind of got um I kind of did my two-part um, homework like further down, like 2012. That's when I really like, I really like got all his CDs. And every, like I went on YouTube watching, I watched every interview. I, I listened to all the unreleased songs, all the original songs, like, and you know, like it just, that's what shaped me as the artist I am today. Like the artist, the type of artist Tupac was and what he represented. You know, and of course, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm nowhere near, I'm not Tupac, you know what I'm saying, I'm Mark Edmund, but at the same token, it's like, like, how, how real he was coming and like, how truthful he was, like, that's, that's what you're going to get when you hear from me, you know, so, of course, we're two different artists, but just like the, 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 where it's coming from, like, it's coming from the same place, you know, so Tupac, man, like, Tupac music really, like, helped me get through a lot, like, like after like high school when when you know when I was going through my down times where well, you know I ain't really like had no like idea how life was gonna go. That's when I that's when I did that that, that, that two part. Uh, I, I don't even know how to describe it, but that's when I did my two part homework, man. And, and so many so many songs, so many albums, like man, it's really like touched me, man. Like we could go down the list, you know, like me against the world, so all eyes on me. Um, the, the Don Illuminati. <laughs> yeah, we could go down the list, man. Like, I, I didn't hear every Tupac song, so yeah, I, that's, that's number one for me. And uh, even even like during that that time that time period when I when I was listening to Tupac, there was a lot of artists um, coming out at the time too. Like, I remember listening to like people like Big Crit. Big Crit, he, I feel like he was saying some real stuff. Like, he was he was definitely like speaking to me, like speaking like some real life music. Uh, Man, who else? Who, I don't want to miss nobody out. Of course, you got your J. Coles and you know, your Kendricks, your, your Drakes and stuff like that, too. And uh, another artist, you know, um, Nipsey. You know, Nip, Nip, Nipsey, I remember listening to that Marathon. When the Marathon came out in uh, uh, 2010, I want to say. Like, when, like, that's the one that really, like, gravitated me towards what he had going on. And then ever since then, I've been following his career, and I just, man, I, I was inspired. Like. I felt like, I felt like when Nipsey passed, like, like shit ain't been the same since. For real, for real, like, like, man, like we really took a big loss with that one, man. Just what he represented and, you know, and that was like my time for real. Like, so I seen it in real time, like Tupac. And, and, and like, that's, I have to go back and, you know, I, I want there for real, you know what I'm saying? But like Nipsey, what he was bringing to the table, what he represented, like, man, we, we, we really missing that, so. Like just just the way he was moving, you know. Like it was like give you something to like, kind of like it was like it was inspiring, man. Like it was, it was relatable in a sense, you know. I and mean, of course, you know we come from two different uh, backgrounds, but just the journey, like you know, like just the route he took. So yeah, that's somebody who I definitely uh, was a big fan of as well. You know, I, and but it's funny, it's funny. Uh, it's funny we talking about all these hip hop artists, but really nine like nine out of ten times, maybe I'm over exaggerating, but I, I be listening to R and B a lot. Yeah, that I, I listen to a lot of R and B music like '90s, you know, uh, '80s, you know, early 2000s stuff like that. Like, you know, I, I could go I could go down the list with that too. But yeah, I'm a, I'm an R and B guy for sure. Yeah, so. Mark
get me if you didn't 